I am surprised that there was an update to this story after, like, what? Not even six months. Like, this has, like, been, like, only a little while since we've heard about the Roroni Kenshin author being convicted for uh, carrying child pornography and the fact that we already have news about him that he is coming back. He is already coming back into the magazine. I mean, this is just fucking crazy. Like, I, I need to read off like this whole like um, uh, entire article because it is insane. The fact that what we're hearing right here. So, like, uh, Anime News Network talked about that the Roroni Kenshin Hokkaido arc, which uh, began like kind of like um, July, I believe, of like last year, and it had like maybe a couple of chapters out and. During this, though, however, it was on hiatus due to the fact that the author, like Watsky, had uh, had been charged the possession of child pornography, and he was later fined around about near. It wasn't even two thousand dollars, but it was around about like uh, like a one point nine thousand um, in February, and the fact that he is coming back already after being charged and confined at, in a kids magazine. I'd like just to point that out. And this is the bit that, like, kind of took me around. The announcement noted that Watsky is living a life of reflection and atonement. But Sh uh, Shueisa and uh, Watsky decided that continuing the manga to answer the desire of fans was a matter of duty. At the time of the manga's hiatus, Sh uh, Shueisa commented that th he's taking this news very seriously and Watsky expresses deep regret. And, well then, like, okay, like... This is the thing, like, um, we talked about this before with exactly what, what look, you, if we are separating the author from the series, this is just straight this coming off from, from there, it's like separating both works, because at the end of the day, I feel like as fucking sick and twisted his mind is for being into fucking little kids, and to put that into perspective, he's into little kids in Japan, the... It's like 10 year olds. We're talking lower than what their actual fucking age of consent is. That that actually makes me want to fucking vomit hearing that shit. It's even worse than a lot of us even thought it was. And now when we look at this, it's like, I really like Veroni Kenshin. Like, I, I, love, I love the work and like you couldn't tell that it, none of that creepy shit really made it into there. Which is the one thing and it's like... At the end of the day, like, you try and separate the two things, but at talking as, like, business-wise, and also as well talking as, like, this is so fucking stupid, the fact that he can't... He, he, he didn't even really get a slap on the wrist. This is ridiculous. So, like, I'd like to point out, I believe it was the Toriko author who got caught with... Uh, I believe there was an underage like prostitute. It was either that or he got caught with a prostitute. I think it was a underage like prostitute that um, what he got caught with. And as far as I'm aware, he actually did. T I believe he actually did time. He actually like actually didn't come back in the magazine for a number of years until there. I mean, it's still kind of shocking that they're like they kind of let him back in after that. But like he actually did time. Vasky didn't do it. Like he didn't do time. He just paid a little fine, and that's it. If that was over here, or if that was in any other country, you would have gone to fucking jail. You would have gone and did some time in fucking prison. No, like, not said, or even that, like, some fucking... The fact that there's like, oh, don't worry, we'll make sure that he's reflecting really hard on this. It's like, you don't reflect hard on something that's clearly been infecting this dude's mind for a long time like the fact that he's into fucking little kids is disturbing creepy and the guy needs help he generally needs help and sending him back to do a magazine in a kids magazine is not the greatest thing to do uh, now um, when i say that it doesn't i don't mean that oh he's gonna fucking clearly draw little kids in the fucking magazine like i i don't think that but he is clearly not in the right healthy mindset to be doing this shit. So, yeah, not a great idea. I think this is 
completely fucking stupid from like Shueisha's point. This is completely mind-bogglingly retarded. Like you do not do that with people. Like, it's the fact that like they have such a great attachment to like Waski. It's like nah, like he he's really learning his lesson. We swear, and, like it ah fucking hell, like Jesus Christ. This I actually can't believe they're actually letting him off. But right, it just feels like um generally in how I've seen like how other people have taken this. Like I have seen. Venom in it, like Venom comments, like seeing how people talked about this, saying like he needs to fucking go into prison, he needs to die. I'm hearing all kinds of shit from like some of the articles and some of the like viciousness on here, and it's like, l although like straight up, like he should have done, t like I still think he should have done time because Japan's prison system isn't that fucking bad. If he what if he wasn't gonna be doing time. Then he at least, and I mean fucking at least, he needed to be going to some fucking, like, uh, psychology. He needed to actually have people look at him and make sure that he's going like, he shouldn't have been work. he shouldn't be working at this time. In fact, he should have been fired because he is actually working with a young audience and that would be a lesson where it's like, no, you're not going to be, like, uh, like it... Well, I'm not saying to blacklist him off every single like manga like like side but he should of actually from like magazines he should at least been blacklisted for a couple of years and I know like a lot of people say no that's cruel no straight if you like if you did that over here and if you get caught up here you would go to jail you would be that would be a permanent thing on your record and people wouldn't allow you, like, you would have a very hard time getting into fucking jobs if you ever got out of prison. That That's just straight up how it is. Like, if, like, and yet he, it really looks like he's not getting anything, and it's like, don't worry, if he thinks that he feels bad, though, that means it's work. He's like, get the fuck out of here. Like, it's just something where it's like, it makes me wonder as well as, like, like, I know already Kenshin's, like, slightly po uh, popular over there with, like, the new work, but I remember, like, that, the whole new move, like, it seems like there's so much stuff going behind with Veroni Kenshin as well, where it's like, no, they had a, there's a movie behind the scenes, it sounded like maybe they wanted to do something else with a fragile, like, there's so much shit on there, but it's like, yeah, no, this is, again, this is where the fact that it's like, uh, how in the actual fuck... Like, how the actual fuck is this being allowed? It is bizarre to me. And, yeah. I mean, personally, like... Uh, like, talking about Kenshin-wise, I mean... I, I have always wanted to finish the last arc of Kenshin off. I mean, I have most of the manga anyway. But, even then still, like, I, I still would like to be to this point where it's like... I like the original Kenshin. I like to separate the two things. I like to separate the author... And also as well the guy from there because in the end of the day I love trust and betrayal I love like the original like series up to like you know Makoto Shishio there's some amazing stuff that he's produced uh, from this series and I know he hasn't really done anything that has ever really gotten popular or gotten out there since like Roroni Kenshin uh, apart from maybe Buso Ren uh, Renki but like at the other day I like to try and separate that and it's really hard to separate like him now from his series when he's not even being punished for it and that's the thing at this point this video is just going on a fucking loop because it i it, i'm just yeah no i'm really am speechless that's just how it is i want to see what you guys think on the comment section down below so i'll see you guys though next time